friends, so uh, another installment on the crawler camera board. So today I'm going to be working on the gimbal. So if you enjoy my videos, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the section below. And if they're not obscene, offensive, or inappropriate, they'll get approved. Uh, even if you don't agree with me, they'll still get approved, but I don't tolerate any advertising, hate speech, or other stupidity. So anyway, I started off with a, um, I started off with a world's best pan and tilt zoom. Yeah, that was crap. Okay, it, it just absolute crap. So I settled on this other little design that I found on Thingiverse, and I'll, I'll post the link in the description. And the first time I printed it, I printed it with what I have set up as 100% infill. And this just goes to show 100% isn't always good. So this is, you can see the print quality is quite something to be desired. But this is with like 40 or 50% fill. And, you know, you can see I can easily flex that. And this, this is solid. So, you know, I can flex that a little bit. But that's really easy to flex. And here is another little piece of it, and you can see, I mean, you don't want to see through it. I bet I could break this in half. Yeah, see, I mean, it's just really junk. Now, here is the same part printed on the 65% fill, and it, it looks awesome. I mean, that's what 3D printing is supposed to be. It's clean, and, you know, here's, here's another little piece of it. So, anyway... I'm using some Turnigy micro servers in the 9 gram range. There's nothing magical here. Um, and we're going to start putting this together. The first one is a metal servo, and I want it to go in here. And this is pretty well designed because this just slips in. Now, I'm not going to be content to do this. Um, I'm actually going to want to hot snot this in so that it doesn't come out. So I'm going to plug in the hot snot generator and we'll give that a minute and then we'll take our little baggies and um, it's supposed to have this one fit in here but I it you know Oh, hey, hey, it actually works. Yes, it actually fit. Well, I'll be darned, because the other one didn't fit. So that's exciting. We'll still hot snot it. And then there's supposed to be another little piece that fits in here. And I did find that... Um, so the one is a turn... It's, it's a TGY50090W servo. Um, I'm going to put a link to just some generic 9-gram servos on... Um, Amazon, I'm pretty sure they all come from the same crap factory in China. But I have a TGY R5180MG here that goes with it. I really do prefer the ones with metal gears. I, you know, I mean, it's a camera. It shouldn't be exerting any force, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're just going to hot snot this. And the purpose here is just to help make sure this doesn't come out. I mean, if we destroy it, we can print another one, so I'm just going to inject until I need another piece of hot slot. Now i got to figure out where I've actually got it. Um, I'm going to stop the camera for that. I'm not going to make you guys... Oh, wait, they're right here. Cool. So this is the Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. It's all the same crap, so um, don't get hung up in if you can't find the Gorilla Glue version. So there you go, it's nice and snotty, and that's what we wanted. So now what we'll do is we'll come back over here and we'll just snap this together. That is how this goes. So you're starting to see something here. And now what we need to do is pick a screwdriver. Do, 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 do. Um, Actually, I do think it goes like this. This doesn't look long enough, but we'll see. 
if it will work. Yeah, no, that's not long enough. Yeah, or not. Yeah, we have no idea where that went. So we're going to hot snot this in. And this will just increase the ability of it to stay put. Hot snot is cheap, so it doesn't really matter. We'll figure out a screw for that later. We'll leave that to the side so it can dry. And what we really wanted was this. So sometimes these don't fit 100% the way you would expect them to, so you just have to kind of fiddle with it to force it in there. So the problem is it's just a little too wide, and I'm hoping to be able to just snap it in. Alright, that's not going to work, so let's see if we can clean it up without cutting ourselves. And the problem we're running into here is um, there's just a little bit of over molding in here. This is where we just may have to accept some hot snot as a helper. So the way this goes in is like this. Well, okay, it fit the other day. So on the good side, this is a really tight fit. On the bad side, yeah, it's a really tight fit. So now we're going to take these little itty bitty tiny screws and try to screw them in. And if you don't have a 3D printer, you can buy this kit for about eight or nine dollars. So it's not even terribly expensive. I just happen to have a 3D printer and that makes four hour shipping available.
And I believe this is really the best way to use 3D printing where you're, you're putting a wood screw into it and it lets it cut threads in. Um, I've seen a bunch of other ways to secure things to 3D prints and I'm not 100% sure those are always such a great idea. So we've got this in here and again it's going to get all, it's going to get some hot snot because we don't really fully trust it and this will help with making sure it's just mechanically adhered. Mm. Yeah, it's really hot. I think at the moment we're done with the hot snot, so we'll set it over there so we don't get a third degree burn from it, and then we'll just push that out of the way. And the way this goes in here is just like this. Except that it doesn't actually go in. So I wonder if we got this assembled wrong, in which case we're going to pay. That's what I get for not testing it first before I hot snogged it. So, don't do as I did. Fortunately, it's not a very difficult fix. And we'll apply some hot snot here in a second, so let's heat that back up. So it's a lot messy, but I think it'll be okay. So we're just going to apply some more of this in here. Try not to get the heck burned out of me again. There we go. And again, the purpose here is just to lock things together. And we're going to give that a few minutes to cool off. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to try and put this together again. And so it goes in like this with some hardware that we don't have. So... Uh, 
like some of our hot spots getting in the way. That's okay, we can drag it out there. So I've got a little bit of a fit finish issue, so let me look at the pictures of this thing. Okay, so uh, that's something of a miracle that I have some quality three millimeter bolts. I thought for sure that I would not have any of these, and I want to look and see if I have anything shorter than ten millimeters. So I raided the leftovers from the kit, and I think this will work. that one. Let's see if perhaps this fits here. Nope, we need something even smaller. I have this little box of tiny, tiny stuff. Let's see if any of this is useful. That's a win. So let's see if we can make some progress here. I have no idea what these screws are from. Apparently they don't even fit the washers that came with them. See if I can convince them to go together. That would be a no. Alright, let's just see if we can get the screw to go in. parts to the rescue. Right. 
and see if that'll fit. So that's part one. Now because we enjoy fun, we can dink with part two. Well, this may not be so much dink as it looks. That may be barely enough. So, first things first, let's get this part way started. Now for the tricky part. So we're going to push that in there like we're just going to push it in there. It's just it's it's just going to sit until the bolt grabs it. And then with luck it will not spin out, but it probably will. So once it goes in there, it'll pretty much hold itself cuz it can't fall out cuz the servos in the way. Well, that's nowhere near perfect. It's probably cross-threaded, but we'll see if it will work. I, I still think we're going to have issues here. So we managed to get that in, and so that went in. That's a good sign.
Okay. So. That's pretty good. And um, the only thing that will be left at this point is to mount the camera. We're not going to do that until this is installed and working. So that is the gimbal assembly. It's crude, but it works and um, it was cheap. And the rest of this is going to go into the box. In case it needs to rescue me again. Because it probably will. We're not done. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.